So let me just say that uh, I'm going to be continuing to fight on this bill. We're going to talk about it quite a bit. Uh, our folks here are all going to take about three, four minutes to sort of share their views. Um, there's a whole lot more that could be said, but we're really trying to get the mic to your hands. So let me just start with my dear friend Prentice Cox. Prentice and I were in law school together at the University of Minnesota 100,000 years ago. <laughs> Actually, 1990s when we got out of law school. And uh, Prentice has gone on to great things. He's a professor of law right now. Very impressive, right? But uh, please give, give it up for Prentice Cox. And a former resident of this neighborhood for 10 years. I worked with Mike Keo on getting the art fair going here. Um, I'll be real brief because Keith kind of said it all. I love the fact, I've been working on these issues for a long time with Amber and Ron and Meg. We've been doing this since before it was popular. And it's astounding to me that he can go. And credit default swaps insure against mortgage-backed securities. And everybody's going, yeah, I know who that is. I know that is. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's been a long time. You know, you could talk to an audience full of lawyers four years ago, and no one would know what you were talking about, right? So, I mean, it's been a massive education. Here's the bottom line for me. Um, the bottom line is when the Great Depression happened, we had no regulation. And it happened because we had no regulation of financial institutions. We put in place a prudent, well-thought-out system that worked for three generations. We then forgot why we put that system in place. And based on an ideology, as Keith articulated, that you know we were going to unleash the markets and that would mean innovation and profits for everyone, um, it was a predictable result. It took about 20 to 30 years to make undo that system and to have it crash, but that's what happened. Our system before that, uh, that was in place as a result of the Great Depression was boring and it worked. And what we need to do, the job now, is to re-regulate so that we have a boring, prudent system that works for everybody. Um, I mean, that's really the bottom line here. The bill that was, that's now in conference committee is an incredibly good start on that. I mean, given all the pressures that were, was on Congress, that were on Congress, this is an astoundingly good result so far. But one thing to note is, is, is that this is only the first step. When we put the system in place in the Depression, it took us about eight to ten years to do that. There were several different bills that created different parts of that system. And hopefully, we're not going to just pass this bill and say, now we're done with financial reform, and this won't happen again. Because here's a really important point. This was a disaster before it was a crisis. And what I mean by that, it was a disaster for many homeowners silently and many borrowers and consumers silently before it became a financial crisis that led to an economic crisis and cost so many jobs. Um, and so what we have to remember is to pay attention when people are suffering, when it's a disaster for millions of individuals who are silently affected by this and continue to work on the system. The last thing I'll say is we're incredibly lucky. I work with a lot of national consumer groups, and it's almost like two, it's rare. There just aren't that many people in Congress where you know they're working with you all the time to try to do the right thing. And we are so fortunate. We, I was fortunate to appear with Ron, with Senator Franken this morning, and to appear with Keith today. And these are two of just really not a majority <laughs> of congressmen who are doing it and trying to always work on it to do the right thing. You don't have to worry they're going to go back and you know make secret deals that nobody knows about because that will help them in funding the next election. And so, and really, it's, it's an incredible thing and it's, it's important to remember that. Appreciate what we have. Thank you. one last thing, which is this whole fight reminds me of Paul Wellstone. And I just want everyone to remember how much Paul Wellstone would have loved this fight. He understood that arcane, boring financial regulation matters like this wind up really mattering in people's lives. So I just want to take a moment to remember Wellstone in the context of this. <laughs>